Right. So we've we've set this bar right in and adjusted the screws until the two notes are at the pitch we require. Then we've backed off these screws till there's a little bit of play. That's fine so far. Okay. Now we go to the knee lever that operates that crossbar there. This is the one. And as you can see, it's pulling it's pulling the notes, sharpening two strings there. This particular knee lever here sharpens a full tone on the same two strings. And this knee lever is sharpening a semitone, a half step. Now at this point in time it's pulling tight against the bar there, but the knee lever doesn't have a solid stop. It does, but it's not adjusted. The solid stop is here, and it's in the T-slot that the knee levers are also set in. And I think I'll get my camera lady to move to the far side. Pause. So this is the knee lever and as you can see there is a stop for it. The knee lever is mounted into a T-slot with a captive nut and a set screw going, a machine screw going into the nut holding it in position and so is the stop for the knee lever. There is another stop for, the knee, for that knee lever there and another stop for this knee lever there. It's mounted inside that slot with a captive nut and then a set screw through it holding it in position and the adjustment for the knee lever stop is here on a screw with a plastic buffer and a lock nut. So now we've got the knee lever to go to the pitch we want and we can adjust the start and end points of its travel with the adjustments here on that or on the adjustment on our little modified bicycle spokes that we've did already discussed. So that's the adjustment of the travel of the knee lever and the actual stop of the knee lever isn't positive, it's a bit spongy. Although it's pulling positive at that end, it's spongy because this stop here isn't adjusted to come solid to the knee lever. So what we need to do is pull the knee lever till it engages and then the moment the sponginess starts, adjust this stop into the knee lever so it's solid. So we've got a feel of full engagement and a fraction more is when the stop comes into play. So that stop is adjusted into the knee lever there and then the lock nut tightened up and that is full travel and just a fraction more and then we've got a solid stop. Now under normal circumstances you're limited to nine changes on these here. Nine. So you've got nine bars running across, you've got eight pedals and one knee lever or seven pedals and two knee levers because we've only nine changes available there. Nine. On the, on the changeover system or the straight system either way. The knee lever is usually this reversed over to the far side as is here on this knee lever. That is the factory knee lever in its normal position as you can see it's that unit there reversed over. So I found a way round the limitations. It involves sharing a knee lever with a pedal but allowing you to use the pedal or the knee lever to do the same thing. And what I did was I drilled through the system here onto any of the specific ones that are already pulled by a pedal, like that one is pulled by a pedal when I engage it properly. Like so. This one is pulled by a pedal here. As we can see that's pulling that with a pedal. We've also got a knee lever capable of pulling it as well. We can't change the actual amount of pull, but what we can do is we can have knee levers doing what pedals can do more so than three adjacent pedals. So you can still use one foot on the pedals and have a knee lever actuating a pedal that you can't reach unless you use two feet and you require a foot on the volume pedal, so it's not possible. Therefore, what I worked out was 
I, for my specific changes, I required a knee lever to do what pedal 4 and 5 did. And to do that, I drilled straight through here and set up a knee lever mechanism the same way using stops and the factory knee lever, exactly the same. In fact, they're not factory knee levers. This is the factory knee lever and these here are carbon copies made on a CNC machine and you will not know that notice the difference even to the pin that goes through there they're absolutely identical okay these knee levers instead of working through the system there are working direct onto the pull here with their length of travel adjusted by the normal way with your adjustment here or the little spoke and what I've had to do on this knee lever because of the pedal actuating it as well I've put a slot there so that when the pedal is actuated that moves along the slot and doesn't move the knee lever to annoy you. So that's the system there. That's easy to pull in that direction. The transfer mechanism to pull in the opposite direction is quite simple using just a T-section up at the top end again with a slot in there to allow the rod to move when the pedal was actuated rather than the knee lever so the knee lever didn't start moving whilst the foot pedal was operated so that's the get around it means that you can actually set up three or four pedals to do your normal four pedal setup with your with your Franklin pedal and your ABC Emmons or BCA day and then the other pedals can do what you want knee levers to do and you can do it with the knee levers or the pedals it, using this system.